word of god says that his wrong doing will come back to him his evil doings his evil practices will come back to him he says what they do in secret all of their evil plans and behaviors and intentions he said it will come back to them this is the word of god everything they are planning against you dear child of god the lord wants you to know today that it would return back to them yes the wickedness their evil their evil intentions and desire it will return back to their own head they would begin to receive the punishment for all of their evil for all of their wickedness for everything they have planned against you yes they have been malicious they have been mischievous but god is saying to you today enough is enough i am standing up for you and i would make sure there is a payback because they refuse to repent because they refuse to stop the things they have been doing against you it is time that it falls upon their head it is time they experience the evil back themselves what they have been doing it is time they get a portion of all of their evil practices god is saying that time has come that it will pay back the enemies for all of their evil for all of their wickedness and none of them would be able to escape you see david went to god and prayed he says let the wicked fall into their own nets while i escape he says let them fall into what they have planned against me let them fall into that pit that they dug against me and indeed that was how god made a way of escape and every of the enemies that plotted evil yes that wanted to destroy him it went back to their head god did a marvelous thing for david and david knew that god was with him all the way no wonder he was called the apple of god's eyes no wonder god would say to him that he had anointed him with his holy oil he had separated him and he was going to preserve him dear child of god i know god have anointed you this way i know god have put a seal upon your life and he has separated you nothing would be able to touch you nothing by any means would be able to hurt you he said touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm and you are one of god's anointed and god is saying to you they would not be able to harm you they will not be able to succeed in their evil plans and intention against you rather it will return back onto their own head in first kings 2 verse 44 the word of god says therefore the lord shall return their wickedness upon their own head he said he will return them wherever it is coming from dear child of god today it is returned back to the senders those who have been malicious against you those who have gone into the covens and are projecting evil towards your direction you should know today that it will be returning back onto their own head yes they have projected sicknesses against your life into your family they have decided that you would mourn all the year but god is saying no i forbid that for my child and is returning back to the camp of the enemy you see the people of god they saw liberation they saw transformation they were delivered and they were rejoicing all the way it was like a dream of the night when god brought their salvation to them they were rejoicing why their enemies the people that wanted to destroy them the people that had evil intention the people that wanted to do something evil to them he said every single one of them from their homes they were mourning because god returned their evil back to them what they intended to do against god's people that was what they experienced dear child of god today god will make sure like he said in his word that the wickedness of the enemy the wickedness of those who hate you the wickedness of those who vow to do you evil those who said to you to your face you would see you would see what i would do against you those who said to you let's see how you would make progress in this life those who told you openly and told you to your face that they would do everything to bring you down they will see you rising they will see you going above them and they will be in shock and that is because god is returning back the evil their evil intentions 
what they had planned against you, their evil desires, God is returning it back upon their own head. In Psalms 141 verse 1, he prayed, he said, Let the wicked fall into their own net while I pass by in safety. He said, let them fall into their own net. Let them fall into all the things they have planned against me while I pass by in safety. And God made sure that he walked into the place of safety. God made sure he was preserved. God made sure nothing they were doing against him succeeded. God made sure nothing the enemies were doing against his life to trouble him came to pass. Dear child of God, God will make sure that all the things they are doing against you, all of their evil plans, every single one of them, it will be exposed in the mighty name of Jesus. They will be exposed and they will be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. Each and every one of them that plan to do you wrong, each and every one of them that wanted to destroy your soul, yes, everything that they have planned in secret, God will make sure that it would be exposed, every single one of them. And this is how you will see your liberation. This is how you will see God turning everything around for your life. He says the Lord will keep him safe and give him life. The Lord will let him be a blessing on the earth and will not give him into the hands of his haters. Psalms 41 verse 2. The Lord is saying to you, I will not give you into the hands of your haters. I will not permit anything they are doing against you to succeed. God is saying everything they are waiting to do against you, they would wait and wait in vain. They would wait until they will be frustrated. He said that none of their hands will be able to carry out their enterprise. God is not permitting them to succeed in their evil. But rather, every evil that they intended against you, it will backfire. And every one of them will carry it upon their own head. They will carry all of their evil plans upon their head. And this is how the Lord will preserve you and keep you alive. He said the Lord will preserve you and keep you alive. And you shall be blessed upon the earth. He says, and thou will be delivered. Thou will be delivered from the will of your enemies. Yes, they have willed evil against you. They have planned it out. They have drawn it out. Yes, they have had a very good way to execute it. But God is saying, they shall meet frustration all the way. And they will be the one carrying it upon their own head. It is time you start enjoying your life, dear child of God. Because you would walk in safety. You would walk in God's deliverance. And you will see that the mighty hand of God have supported you all the way. You will say to God, you have been my help. You have supported me. You have kept me safe. And you have nursed me. You have nursed me to the place of my victory. You have kept me alive. And you have given me victories. He said that it will keep you in all of your ways. Everywhere you go to, he said it would preserve you. And nothing they are doing against you would ever succeed. With your eyes, he said, you will see the reward. Yes, the reward, the recompense of their evil. He said, with your eyes, you will see it. The reward of their wickedness, he said, with your eyes, you will see it. Only with your eyes will you see the reward of the wicked. Dear child of God, God will bring you to the place of safety. He will bring you to the place of preservation. And he will bring you to the place of satisfaction in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, before those enemies... He would prepare a table and you will be well fed. You would enjoy. You would be rejoicing all the way right before them. He said he will make a table for you. He will make a table of satisfaction. He will make a table and your children will surround that table. Yes, you will be enjoying the blessings that God has brought you away. And every one of them will be frustrated. They will be in pains because they did not succeed against you. He said he will be your support. He will be your help. And it will guide you through. He said it will show you mercy. He said your soul will not be haunted. He said your soul will not be destroyed. He said it will show you mercy because you have faith in you. And because you believe in the things that he wants to do. He said he will not disappoint you. And he will not put you to shame. Dear child of God, trust God all the way. And he will not allow the evil plans and intentions of the enemies to come to pass. He said in Psalm 41 verse 5. My haters say evil against me. When will he be dead and his name come to an end? Yes, they will keep saying these things and they will say it in vain because none of them would ever succeed. And as they are waiting for you to be destroyed, as they are waiting for you to be put off, 
as they are waiting for you to meet your end, this is how every one of them, except they repent, except they turn to God, except they ask for mercies of God, this is how they would meet their own end in the mighty name of Jesus. It will suffer no one to do you wrong, dear child of God. It will suffer no one to do you evil. He said it would make sure none of their evil plans are succeeding against you in the mighty name of Jesus. God will not grant their evil intentions and desires. Everything they want to do against your life. God is saying, no way. It will not succeed against my child. You cannot succeed against my own because your life is preserved in his hand. Because that of your family as well is preserved in his hands. So shall it be all the way in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.